Standing on the front porch of the Belgian house, I want to give you a kind of a view from the, from the front porch. It's a beautiful little area. Like I said, this is this is toward the back of the of the community, so there's not nearly as much traffic. This nice wide foyer. It's your front office. I like these, these these wall treatments that they've done with the trim work. All oh, that's trim work that create, create that texture there. Front bedroom. Outer room. So this has got kind of this is the great room, dining room, kitchen area. So large kitchen island. Pantry. So it doesn't have a formal dining room, uh, but it's got this nice old dining area here. Go outside and show the back area here. Great back covered patio area, and this could easily be screened in here too. Like I said, we're starting to get to where we're, we're trending more towards a buyer-friendly uh, market here. So we might be able to negotiate maybe a bank of trees along this little, this little uh, hillside here. Give you a little bit more privacy from the neighbor next door. But you could it would be great to screen this in here and give you almost a, a three-season room. Laundry room, let's show this. It's a very large laundry room. Great little drop zone too, coming in from the garage. Really good size laundry. So it is on the main level with the owner suite. Like I said, for, for, as far as one level li living, really you, this is, this is a great scenario for that. So nice little ceiling treatment. Large, large um, owner suite. You know, it's really, really good space for you. Ceilings are, it's gonna be 10 stepping up to 12. Nice and sleek lines. Master closet goes around, so this there we go. Got quite a bit more space. Stairs landing area, pretty light fixture there. We'll go back to the bonus room first. Very, very large bonus room over the garage area. They've got it kind of set up for theater system. Those are gonna be kind of storage areas in, uh, in, in the attic eaves. bath secondary bedrooms are are very 
are very good size. I mean, they're they're not overly large, but they're but they're definitely very adequate. I don't know if you can see the some of the views of the hills. I mean, that's one of the things that Nolensville's really got going for it is the uh, the length of view. I think is very is very pastoral, picturesque. All the closets are built in. Again, Grove Park, they're usually doing the very high-end homes. So when they do homes, not that, you know, not that $2 million is not a high-end home, but, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, they're bringing the same mindset and quality standard that they have with their, with their you know, $5 million plus homes to these homes. So you, so you really get, Nicely constructed home. This is a Jack and Jill, so everyone follow me through here. This is for the last two upstairs bedrooms. Overall, I really do like this house. Like I said, my client who closed on the other one, we almost wrote an offer on this one too. So, Okay, so this is 243 Belgian Court. It's a, it's a beautiful home. Um, you know, it, it's, it, it may be a little bit more square footage than you were thinking, but the first floor lays out great. You've got, you got a, an office and a secondary bedroom. So if, if you, you and your husband both wanted a, a little place, you know, you know to, to, to have sitting areas or whatever, you, you got that. Um, great, great open concept, coverage, back patio area, and owner suite. So this is a good, it's a good option. So now we're going to the next one.